Hi everyone, um, so this is going to be the tutorial for uh, anti-spin wallflower, which looks like this as you've probably seen in the other video. Okay, so um, basically, let me explain to you the theory behind this. It's, um, it probably is more of a ploy move, but translates super well into hooping. And uh, basically, the idea is that your hoop would be moving uh, one direction and your arm is making a circle the other direction. So I'm sorry I have to stand on my bed over here. But um, so my hoop right now is going counterclockwise, and I'm going to make a movement with my arm going clockwise, which will cause the hoop to do these little ringlets around. So. Now, um, I think a good way to start this is to um, start with three points. So, um, with my arm, you're going to see that you can do it in a circle, but it's not going to go easily that way. Um, so, your best bet is to kind of pick an image in your head. So, maybe it's a triangle, and you're going to move your arm in this triangular shape. And at each point that you stop at, that's where the hoop will make a loop. So over here, up here, over here, like this. Here, I'll just get on the floor here. Or maybe you want your four, so then you move your arm in the diamond shape. Or maybe you do a pentagram shape, so you've got Anyway, you have a lot of different options, even up to just completely moving your arm in a full circle and doing it that way. But um, for right now, I'm just going to teach you guys to do this triangular shape one so you get the feel for it and then you can, you know, move on and vary it however many ways you like, All right? So, um, and also that theory with the going back and like with the two different, um, motions of, of like the hoop going one way and your arm going the other way holds up any way you do it, you know. Over here, you know, in front of you with the other hand. Um, and you'll see if you try to, if you're doing it the wrong way, this is what it's gonna look like. So my hoop's moving counterclockwise and moving my hand in a circle. And even if you're pausing it, you know, it does this, but it's not quite the same feel as this. And you'll pick up on it pretty quick. So, but, um, you know, this can also be a good thing, too. Being able to do this. I think it's really cool, but, uh, anyway, very different than this, right? So, uh, to get started, we're going to start with the hoop right right here and just start spinning it around going counterclockwise so it's going to the left. Gonna push our arm out here across our body up down and back over. So just try to at oh trying to take yourself in the face here. So you'll see that it gets kind of difficult to keep it going, but what will make it easier is with the timing. So over here, I'm gonna the hoop is gonna go like this. My hand rolls over just like with an isolation. It comes up like here, and as it's coming down, it's going out here, and then I'm gonna go this way and it starts over. 
So you'll see that right here, I'm really using my hand to kind of guide it, and that can help you get that uh, movement down until you can kind of get it for yourself. So uh, when I first learned this, I tended to pause at each thing and really exaggerate. So push her over, up, over, like this. And another thing that's going to help you is to really stretch your arm with all of these movements that I'm going to have in this series. You know, really move your arms. Get them as far back as you can all the way around because it's going to be hard to, uh, I would recommend doing this to really stretch out your shoulders because what's going to end up happening is you're doing this and then you're just going like this and you're not getting that full range of motion that you could possibly have, right? And that's probably one of the biggest uh, things to really work on and like figure out is to get it, is getting your arms straight because a lot of the time when you're first starting this you will see that you kind of do this which is a triangle when you're doing it but that ends up being more of a isopop. You really want to move your arm out if you want it to be a total like flower shape, right? Um, but yeah. As far as grips, it's really just that L shape where the the hoop will roll like right here, which you're all pretty you should be pretty familiar with if you're familiar with any kind of hand moving. Um, yeah, it just kind of rolls there. You can lightly kind of grip a little if it helps at when you reach these points that your hand's going to go to. Um, I used to do that. It'll slow it down a little bit, but it definitely helps in those transition moves where I'm moving up and I grip a little, let it roll, grip a little, you know, kind of like that. Um, and hopefully from that triangle shape, you can figure out, you know, doing it in all different kinds of shapes and whatever. It honestly doesn't matter what um, your shape as long as you're doing this anti-spin movement that's going to work no matter what. But uh, I find that it definitely helps to kind of have an image in your head of, of like what you're trying to do. So you know, triangle, diamond, pentagram, um, geometry really is like a huge part when you get into these like techie kind of moves just like in tech boy and stuff like that. So um, hopefully that helped you and you're able to get your anti-spin flower now. Um, good luck.